Ah, magandang araw po. Ngayon po ay discuss natin yung isang indicator na ginagamit, commonly used na ginagamit sa stock market. Ito po ang tinatawag natin na moving averages. What is moving average? A moving average is a stock indicator that is commonly used in technical analysis. So, ito po yung technical chart. Hmm. so itong apat na linya dito ito po ay tinatawag nating moving average the most common applications of moving average are to identify trend direction and to determine support and resistance levels so ngayon kung titingnan natin Pag ang presyo ay nagbabound sa moving average, kung nasa taas siya, he will act as support. Pag ang presyo naman nasa down and he is, is going to the moving average, moving average will act as resistant. And as mentioned, to identify train direction. Train directions, either it is sideways or it is going uptrend and downtrend. So, yun po ang tinatawag to identify train direction. When asset prices cross over their moving averages, it may generate a trading signal for technical traders. Okay. There are four types of moving averages. We call this exponential moving average, the first one. The second one is simple moving average. The third one is smooth moving average. The fourth one is linear weighted moving average. But commonly used in the Philippine stock market is exponential and simple moving average so this, dito sa charts ko ito po ay exponential moving average so depende na sa trader kung anong uh, moving average na gagamitin niya either it is simple or exponential moving average for me I use the exponential moving average So, ito na po yung procedure natin how to identify if the trend is strong, trend in adjustment, or weak trend. Okay. By using exponential moving average. Here, it is mentioned that the trend is, is strong when the price is, is above all exponential moving average this one or above 20 50 day exponential moving average so we identify that one as a strong trend for the trend in adjustment the price is below 20 and 50 day exponential moving averages we call as train in adjustment but it is above 100 and 200 day exponential moving average so by the way itong color dito yung nasa taas ito po yung 20 50 day 100 day and 200 day the third one we call as weak trend so it is a downtrend tinatawag natin yung downtrend if it is below 100 or 200 day exponential moving average the price is below 100 200 day exponential moving average so we call that one as weak trend or below all 
exponential moving averages so now we'll go to the chart of Jollibee in this area the 20 is above 50 50 is above 100 100 is above 200 so this is the sequence so we call this one as an uptrend so it is a strong trend because the price is above all moving average here in another, in another side the price is, is below all moving average so this is called as a downtrend so ngayon po ang Jollibee yung presyo natin ay yung mga sa taas ng 20 and 50 so hindi po natin matawag ito ng downtrend but dito na area ito po ay downtrend so kung pansinin natin dito pag ang stock ay nasa ibabaw na ng lahat ng moving average siya po ay malakas umangat kasi ang sabi dito this will act as the support so kung tingnan natin dito this is above 20 this is above 20 so now when the price is going below here below 50 but above 200 this is uh, called as training adjustment okay so mapapansin natin sa chart kapag ang pressure ng stock ay nasa taas na ng moving average lahat ng moving average there is a tendency that the price will go up it's because tinatawag natin itong uptrend so when the time the price is going back to the moving averages it will act as support so kung titingnan naman natin dito it's clearly a weak trend because it is below 100 and 200 moving average so ngayon pag weak trend pag mag bounce yung stock may tendency na itong moving averages will act as resistant so pag resistant diyan po ay marami pong nagbibinta diyan pag support naman karamihan po ay diyan po bumibili so I hope na mayroon kayong nakuha na lesson about moving average so yan po yung sa screener na ginagamit ko ay ini-screen ko yung mga stock na ang presyo na sa taas na ng moving average kasi may laking chance na yan po ay tumaas pa so yun lang po ngayon at susunod na topic natin ay magawa ko ng topic how to incorporate the Bollinger Band in the, mo in, the mo in the moving average so marami pong salamat and God bless us all Thank you.